my Jamie Simpson. Wish to give you hugs and kisses. Like, comment, subscribe, watch it. Oh my god. My intro is getting confusing to me now. I can't even say it anymore. What was I saying again? I forgot what I said. Oh boy. Like, comment, subscribe, and watch the channel come alive. I think I skipped some parts, but what can I do? And make sure to hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload. Thank you. And I forgot. Blah, blah, blah. Clem? Tingalingi. Today I'm, I'm doing a furnish collab <coughs> with Happy Sim Egg. She built this beautiful Tudor style house, and I furnished it the best of my furnishing abilities. <laughs> it's excellent day. <coughs> my voice is gone. Oh no. I think my voice is already gone because I can't even talk. Actually, no, my talking is gone. That made no sense. But here I am putting in the uh, wallpaper and the floor flooring. <laughs> I think this is my first. No, that's not my first time. This is my second time furnishing uh, another amazing Simmers build. I really love how I furnished it in. And I hope that all of you do enjoy how I furnish it too. I was, a, I, I am a little bit picky when it comes to swatches and different furniture. But, um, I do have to say though that my favorite room that I did furnish was the kitchen. You'll see that after I do the living room part. I think I mostly use season, seasons, furniture, and... Everything else, I I don't really know what all it is, but I think I mostly use seasons. There is two couches, and the, I don't. I'm, I have, sometimes I have issues matching color schemes with different builds. I I just want to match it as much as possible. See, there I go. I'm changing the wallpaper <laughs> because I don't know what to choose. And then it's quite lovely. I don't, I'm just super picky. Oh, I went back to the other one, I guess. I don't know anymore. But I did, but I did try my best to match everything. To make it... I try to match the theme. Make it more... Make it more for... I'm trying to think of the word here. It has wooden related furniture in it. Like a wooden couch, kind of, and a wooden table. I changed the table again. And I decided, hmm, do these plants look on this table? I'm not sure. But I added a laptop from Strangerville, and I added a couple of candles on the desk. Because, you, of course, you would want to have a lovely scent near you while you're playing games, writing a, writing a book, or just researching different things on the laptop. Whatever you want to do. And I added this TV stand and TV along with it. I'm still not professional at voiceovers. I'm working on it still. I'm not, I'm not very... I, I think I'll get used to it as time goes on. I decided to move the plants to the fireplace and I was deciding on what to put for the wooden table that came with Seasons. There's a thermostat, umbrella rack, and I don't, I'm not sure if I'm done with the living room. I had a hard time picking out different pictures to put on the walls. <laughs> I don't know, while I was recording this, my sister was saying a bunch of funny things. So I was kind of <laughs> a little bit distracted on. Wait, what did I do? No, you were being funny, so. Talking about what? Different random stuff. I forgot what I was talking about. You're just talking about random stuff. I don't remember. You were busy with your clay sculptures and just painting. Then just painting and being funny. I enjoy when my family is my my mom and sister is part of my videos and my voiceovers too. It I, it makes me feel more comfortable. It makes me feel like I can be myself more when they're participating in whatever I'm doing. There's a bookshelf. I decided to do the front area. I furnished that area too. I wanted to make it, you know, I added the what's it flower arrangement floor arrangement floral arrangement I can't even floral arrangement floral arrangement station 
And I added a painting easel. For creativity. For, for the creativity part and the front yeah, area right here. And I added a shoe rack, a coat rack. What the heck was that? And I'm done with the living room and front area, so now I'm working on the kitchen. <laughs> Hello, it's Fashionista Sam. Ha ha ha. There's my mom. <laughs> interrupting. Funny. I enjoy it. I always it. do. Like I said, I enjoy it. My family's part of it. So like I said before, my favorite area to furnish was the kitchen. I especially love all the clutter and the decorations that I put on the counters. I think it makes it more realistic. And I think this might be my kind of a dream house. Especially how how happy Sam built it and everything. I love it. I love her builds. I love her videos. I will definitely link her channel in, in the description. You will definitely love her. She is so, she is such a sweet person. Somebody else nodded on me. Right when I was talking about something, a tomato snotted on Angel, apparently. I don't know how that's possible. I was deciding on the cabinets and see what in the world's going on? Uh, Hazel's barking. I don't know. She's outside, so she can't do anything. Hazel's outside. I can't do anything. She's my dog. I don't know if you can hear or not. She's a she's a pit bull. What? Why are you barking at? Hazel likes to bark at people outside. She is a very harmless dog. Yeah, she's very barky though. I'm gonna go see if she's good. She doesn't bark that much, but but she does. She, the reason why she barks at people is because she wants to get close to them and want, and she wants to lick their faces off. That's what she likes to do. I really hope all of you enjoy the kitchen as much as I do. Or maybe you have another favorite room. Let me know in the comments on what your favorite room is that I furnished. It might be something different than I like. It might be the same room. Who knows? But, but the kitchen's my favorite that I furnished. Actually, I had to move the darn counters over so the table and chairs could fit. I think I furnished it to be a one-bedroom area. So, I'll be able to definitely see how the bathroom and the bedroom looks, too, whenever I'm done. I had such a hard time with the clutter and the decorations. I It was hard to find. I, I was... I was scrolling up and down seeing if I can find this and I can find that. I don't know. I just had a hard time <laughs> with, with finding things. I found a bread box, tea bags, tea kettle, Sorry. paper towels, napkins, whatever you want to call them. Looks like there's a tray of dishes and I, there's another thing of dishes over there. I don't know. I'll just... And finding clutter and everything sometimes from where you want to find can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes. Well, that's what people really have in their houses anyway. Yes, I wanted to make it the kitchen look as realistic as possible. The only time it's a problem is when it's overly cluttered and you can't actually move anywhere. Well, I don't think it's overly cluttered. I think it's fine. Yeah, sometimes people put like so much stuff in, it just looks like you're a hoarder. <laughs> like a hoarder. <laughs> oh my god. I was deciding on, I'm not sure what I was trying to look for. I think it was forks and spoons. I don't know. <coughs> there's a tea maker. I also added, uh, I decided to move, oh, there's a microwave. I had to move some stuff over to fit the microwave. The cookie jar, I couldn't really decide on where to put it. So, there's an ice cream maker, popcorn maker, and a coffee maker. Uh, I love adding all of that stuff because I, who doesn't love ice cream and popcorn and coffee and tea? I mean, I know some people don't like tea, tea and coffee, but, well, actually I'm not a big fan of ice cream that much. I don't know why, that's just me. I love ice cream. I rarely will eat ice cream. There will be times where I will want to eat ice cream, but most of the time I enjoy sherbet. So, that's probably me. I know I'm, I'm probably a little bit odd for that, but... Some people don't like ice cream, some people don't even like chocolate, it's weird, but... <laughs> but that's just, that's just who I am. I guess I'm officially done with the kitchen! 
Yay! <laughs> I, I enjoy furnishing the kitchen. I think it took me the longest to furnish. Because I wanted to add so many details into the furnishings. I love how the bedroom turned out too. The bathroom, I think, whenever you do see it, it might look a little bit naked, but I tried. <laughs> I tried my hardest to figure out what to put for the bathroom. Like I said, I'm not experienced with furnishing and building that much still, but I am doing my best at everything. And I think as time goes on, I think I'll probably get better. But for now, you'll see that I'm still a beginner. If, 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 I mean, if, if all of you think that I'm not a beginner, maybe in... I'm not a professional, but I, I still consider myself to be a beginner. <clears throat> I wanted to add a makeup table. Add some makeup. Makeup tray. Nail polish. Onto the makeup table. I, I don't... Sorry for the noise. There you go. There's candles. There's. I want to add some little bit of candles in the bedroom too, to make the you know the bedroom smell nice. Yes, I love candles. My mom and sister love candles too. What kind of candle do we have currently have now? Uh, mango. Okay, we. And spring rain. Okay, we have currently have a mango candle and a spring rain candle. I'm vanilla. And here I am finishing. Fixing up a rug in the living room, and then I added the matching one in the bedroom. And I realized this, I guess I realized in the end before I finished, that I forgot to add flooring. <coughs> I forgot to add the flooring tiles, <coughs> not the tiles, the flooring to the bedroom and the bathroom. <laughs> that was my own mistake and I realized at the end I was, I was thinking while well, 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 furnishing oh my god I forgot to do the, the flooring no and, and, and if I would have forgotten that then I probably wouldn't have done the voiceover yet I probably would have to go back and add that part. <laughs> okay there's a cabinet now it, you know, just, okay, there's a nice bathtub, shower, Ow. and I added a, a little blue rug for the bathtub, because you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want to slip and fall onto the floor. I mean, come on, you have, I mean, if you, if you went out of your bathtub in the cold, not the cold, the wet I floor, and I can't get up. you'll end up falling on your butt. And I added a little, added a little rug for the toilet too, so your feet won't get cold, especially during the winter time. I am, oh my god! I wanted to add a washer and dryer. The, that dryer was being so stubborn with me; it kept floating in the air and everything. It's haunted. It's a haunted it's dryer. I know. I, happened to me with the dang I added a baby don't move object on because Happy Simbag told me that I would need to turn that on. Before placing the build, and I did exactly that, I listened to your instructions, and there you go. I, I, I was successful in that part, at least. Because I almost forgot. Before, I was like, oh my god, I need to turn that on before furnishing everything. So, I was good on that part. So, anyway, I hope... I hope all of you do enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this heartwarming. Jump into the jingle up in here. You're always welcome. I love you all so much. Bye. Bye, everybody.